Good evening, it's nine o'clock and like I don't really know if I'm alive or dead at this point. I haven't woken up this early in a long time. Like usually I wake up at like half 11 and locked on. But I had to wake up early today because today is a special day. Basically I was meant to be going on holiday around this time, like early May. That's obviously been cancelled. I have huge amounts of depression over it, we'll knock it into it. So I decided, you know what, instead of sitting around all day, you know what I'll do, I will turn my back garden into like a beach like, i'm gonna have a really big summer day i ordered like an adult paddling pool that's the reason i'm up early now is because i need to fill it up apparently it takes like four hours to fill i'm also planning on camping outside which i just don't know if it's a good idea and will i last the whole night who knows i also have my hair in plaits today because i thought i'd wake up with like beachy wheels and i actually think i look quite cute somebody lied to her several times and told her that she was fly hot and sexy and beautiful beautiful and she's nothing like that she's nothing of the sort right this is it you know what it actually looks quite big also just walked outside and this is meant to be like my scene today for my summer day and there's just a mat with dog shit all over it so like it truly is just a summer vibe Do you know what i mean it is a lovely day though Oh wow. Okay girlies, here are my beachy waves. Also, I went to set it up there and I didn't have the pump for it. Uh, I just had a bit of a mental breakdown. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm fragile at the minute. I did, I nearly started crying. It wasn't It wasn't a good time. But luckily my mum came home and I swear mums have like superpowers or something because she found the right pump for it and here we are. It's actually quite big. Oh my God, right. do you want me to tell you like the reason why I'm doing all this? It's actually quite funny. So basically like my whole, goal in this whole thing like youtube was to be like invited on a brand trip like i just think that looks so fun and i would always watch like brand trip vlogs and all and motel rocks invited me on one this was what the holiday that I was meant to be going on in may motel rocks was like the main one i've always been obsessed with like they go to bali and all and like coachella my manager texted me and was like olivia like she knows it's like my dream she was like olivia you're going to bali with motel rocks and i was like stop like i was literally like i burst into tears crying and all and, like rang my mom and was like so happy everyone else invited was probably like okay cool but i literally started crying i was like this is not real life and then my manager sent through the dates and it was like 10th of may and I was actually repeating my AS levels because I did so shit last year like I got a day in physics so I was repeating like some modules of like maths and physics and it was over those dates and I was just like what's more important a free holiday to Bali like when will I ever get offered that again never or repeating my physics AS level I like went to my teacher and was like I'm afraid I'm gonna have to pull out of the reset I'm going on holiday all my teachers were like kind of fair play I was like yeah I know <laughs> But now obviously I'm not going on holiday and I am getting predicted grades but I'm also not getting to go to Bali and like that is my dream and it's just like, it is hard to come to terms with like imagine going to Bali with Motel Rocks like that is the that's the goal in life like imagine getting free clothes because like still to this day I will still spend like 50 quid in a Motel Rocks top like I just don't care it's my favorite clothing brand so imagine getting all the free clothes for the holiday like I can't even imagine it like it, it would just be an amazing time and I'm not getting to go Oh, but you know what today will be so much fun instead <laughs> also that whole time my nose looks so burnt so if you're thinking to yourself oh god yeah me too it's like really painful everyone in my last video was calling matthew this guy called spooky from on my blog and i think he got a bit self-conscious about it because he shaved and the <laughs> Sainsbury's now to get some food and some alcohol because I'm making cocktails and stuff. We're also having a barbecue and we don't have enough food for it. I'm kind of nervous to be drinking because the last time I was drinking was a few days ago and I this whole time haven't been getting drunk because I'm kind of like what's the point in getting drunk properly in your house and just like not even go to a club and like not be able to dance anywhere. Like I don't really like getting properly drunk with my parents but uh, Saturday I just don't really know what happened at all. Matthew, my brother, he threw up all over outside. Mind you, my dog George ate it all up. It was completely gone the next morning it was terrifying john threw up i threw up up the walls okay i'm back from sainsbury's and i'm gonna do a haul also that um is my sick on the wall we'll just like not even talk about it honestly it seems it's popped off like i was just planning on getting the food we needed plus like rum and some vegan marshmallows but oh my god did i spend some amount of money there okay so first of all i got a peppa pig ball i thought it'd be fun to play with in the pool and all then i got this it's like a cocktail thing with a wee tap 
Then I got some vegan marshmallows and skewers. And then this next part, it, honestly, there's like a middle aisle in Sainsbury's that was just amazing. Like, they had the most cool stuff. And there was this like pink flamingo. And it also lights up. Let's see. Do you see that? I don't know. I'm kind of getting like Love Island vibes. And I do have this like really strong desire to be on Love Island. But at the same time, like I'm never breaking up with John. And like, he's like probably never going to get rid of me. So I'm not ever going to get on Love Island. But I feel like I'm living my best Love Island life through this wee light. And I could also put it in my tent tonight maybe. Do I need to reel it in a bit? Like that was a tenner. We need to go pick up a tent from my friend because we actually don't own a tent. We're not really much of a tent family. So I've asked to borrow his tent and he's gonna like leave it out and then I'll go get it. Like we're not gonna be in contact or anything. We get to have the roof down in this car about once a year maybe. It's spring break bitches. Let's ride. Let's ride. Tent secured. The pool is basically filled. I'm in my brother's room. You can kind of see it from here. Let me show you. I'm just like not bikini ready. So wearing a bikini is not ideal for me. I was bikini ready and then my boyfriend came to live with me and now I'm a fat shit. She's huge, but she's so beautiful. She's a mammoth, of course. She's huge, but she's so beautiful. She's a mammoth, of course. Lightly put your toe in and then step in. No! Let's get in. I also put some peach iced tea into this wee container. Oh wow! Oh. <laughs> I'll just sit back and observe. <laughs> Yeah. Pray where she started, boy. She should say a letter, boy. Go a bit faster than that. <laughs> Surely not. Put your f. Ooh, you go, girl. Oh, damn. Hey, <laughs> hey. Now you go on this, and I'll, I'll run along. Faster than that. As fast as I can. Is that a cherry blossom? Yeah, thanks. Cherry blossom. Our barbecue is nearly ready, so I thought I would make a bit of a strawberry daiquiri to drink with our lunch. First of all, I'm gonna put in a pack of strawberries. Also, just I'm not measuring it out because I don't feel that is essential for a cocktail. Then we're putting in some white rum. Never had rum before, I don't think, so this is a first. Are you sure that's all? Then we're gonna put in some lime. And then the last ingredient is ice. It's Oh my god, they're so pretty and the way umbrellas. I really feel like I'm on holiday here. It's not quite Bali, but it'll do. Okay, it's half five and we're gonna start doing our tent because not joking, it's gonna take about three hours. Also, like I am looking so tan. I really popped off in the sunbathing today. gonna take ages and I'm not gonna show you like every process of me decorating it so I'm just going to show you a before and an after okay so this is the before I finished however the Sun is literally shining right into it so you can't really see the full potential so I'll show you it again whenever it's dark you come in we've got our feather lights which don't even look bright because it's still bright outside then we've got our blow up mattress and fluffy duvet oh my god i'm glamping then i've got my projector which projects onto this white sheet and we just tried it out and it actually does work quite well and that is about the height of it but doesn't that look so comfy like i'm considering moving out into this tent also i always get questions about where i got my projector but my mum got it like for free for work so she can do like a presentations and stuff so she can like sell her drugs better because she do be a drug dealer, but like a good drug dealer. She's like a pharmaceutical rep, but I just like to call her a drug dealer. Drug dealer. Drug dealer. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> Why is it? 
Why is that coming up? Okay. Do you want to know a really, really funny story? Like, this is absolutely disgusting, and you'll never look at me the same, but, like, who cares? I, oh, girls fart, like, get over it. So, I hadn't, like, farted in front of John, because I didn't know if he was going to be like, ooh, it's disgusting. So, I hadn't farted it, and then, like, now we're living together, I'm like, I'm just going to have to lie, I just, I let one out. And ever since, it's been non-stop, I can't, like, now that I've done it once, it's just, mm, it's like snowballing, like, it's not great. And I think at this point, he's getting a bit disgusted, but I don't really care. You know, like, whenever I would sleep over at his uni house, I would not, like, fart at all when I was around him. And then, we went out for Thai one night, and I had something really spicy, and I woke myself up in his bed from farting so loudly. <laughs> No, you didn't wake up, thank God. I was absolutely mortified. It was so embarrassing. <laughs> I know, oh, it was so bad. I don't want to smell that. No, my farts don't smell. Yeah. Don't my farts smell nice? I don't, I've never smelled them. Because they don't smell. Yeah, in fairness, I don't really smell them. For dinner, I ordered food. I know I shouldn't be ordering, I should be cooking. And I did have a barbecue already today, like a real in Olivia. It's meant to be hot girl summer, and I'm not gonna have that bald if I keep continuing on this path. And it's because of him, like, it's, he's the one that wanted to order. Oh, I need you out of my life. Where we ordered from is Boo Gym. It is, um, it's like a Mexican delivery in Belfast, but it's literally like famous, like everyone gets it. And I used to think I was really cool because I was like, I don't even like Boojum, like I don't like it when everyone else would get it, I would get something else. And then I was forced to try it a f like two weeks ago and now oh, I'm literally obsessed. And it's like one of my favorite takeaways. So we both got burritos. I get no rice, pinto beans, vegan bean chili, guacamole, two salsas, peppers and onions and lettuce. Boom time. It's boom time. Also, my dad's like best friend also owns Boojum, so we high case on them anyway. Let's play the challenge. If you're not from Northern Ireland, try guess what we're saying. Or some meat coming off our air bite. You say something. No, you should cook them bite. <laughs> that is the countryside accent here. It is absolutely horrible. It makes my skin <laughs> crawl. The vibes are immaculate. Look at how ugly I don't think. <laughs> I'm just like thinking to myself, myself, was it a good idea eating Mexican tonight? Like, oh, will this tent be a bit oh, stinky? Okay, right, time for uh, the grand reveal. The projector's working, all the lights are up. Oh my God, it's so pretty. We're watching Kingsman, by the way. I'll show them the wee pots we have. Oh, crying. Okay, right, good night, girly pops. Wish me luck, hope I don't get eaten in the night. Also, hope I last the full night. John, I was like, so are we gonna go in at like two? No, absolutely not. I plan on staying out the whole night, but we will see, we'll see. 